Hello everyone, my name is Ferris and today I'll be teaching you how to deploy your own resources on Oracle Cloud. So if you don't have an Oracle Cloud setup yet, you can go ahead to cloud.oracle.com and sign up for an Oracle Cloud. So after logging in to my Oracle Cloud, this is the console that I see. And today we're going to be talking about how to access, how to deploy your own virtual cloud network. So if I go to the menu section, go to networking, go to virtual cloud networks, I'll arrive at this page. So a virtual cloud network is a virtual private network or a virtual cloud network that you set up in Oracle data centers. This, in my opinion, is the most important Oracle cloud resource that you can deploy simply because it allows you to access the resources that you deploy on Oracle cloud. Uh, whether, for example, you're deploying an instance that needs an internet access, or if you want to um, deploy a specific resource and you need to access it from the internet with firewall rules or specific types of communication gateways like internet and NAT, gate and NAT gateway, this is the resource that controls that all. So to show you how to create your own virtual cloud network, I can either create it manually using this button but if I want to keep everything simple, I'll just click on the Start VCN Wizard and click Start. So this is fine. Don't worry about this error. So uh, to start, I'll just give it a basic name. For example, VCN01. The compartment will be the current compartment that I am in right now, which is which in this case will be tutorial. And right now, I can configure the VCN. So in this section, you can choose your IPv4 CIDR block, which is the range of IP addresses that will be delegated to this VCN. So Oracle allows up to slash 16 range of IP addresses, meaning in this particular case, my VCN will have an IP address starting with 10.0.0. And of course, you can change it if you want to, but in this case, I'll just keep it um, at 10.0.0.0 slash 16. The public subnet will have a range of 10.0.0.0 slash 24, which means the IP address will have um, a starting address of 10.0.0.0. And I also want to keep it as the default and same goes to the private subnet. So if I just click on next, I'll just confirm the details and click create. And all I have to do is wait until all of the resources are provisioned. And as you can see, the, my, pri my private and public subnets are now available to be used.